Madini Mazimba, I'm back again with a new album review and the album in question today is Peter Moyo, Young Igwe's uh, latest album titled Mopao Makons. <music> Uh, now, Peter Moyo has had quite a tough stay uh, in the music business. You know, when he started, a lot of people complained about his vocals. His vocals were not really up to par. They were not really up to the standard that a lot of people expected from him. And I think he noticed that. Uh, and also, I remember a couple of years back, he went for some um, vocal lessons with Baba and Amai Charamba and is uh, continuously trying to, to improve his vocals. And after listening to this album, you can feel good, you know, he still needs uh, to build a lot of time on his vocals uh, because... A lot of the time he's training himself, his vocals are not really appearing as normal as they should. And if, uh, if you listen to this album, all of the tracks except uh, Babana Mai and Muridzi Wopenyu, you can hear uh, some strain in his vocals, you can definitely pick out good. Uh, he still needs uh, to put a lot of work uh, on his vocals. And now if you go to the instrumentals, it's another story altogether. Uh, Peter Moyo has greatly improved uh, in the instrumental department. The way the instrumentals are arranged, the way the tracks feel and sound is just very, very good. And I think those are the tracks that if you play them alongside uh, some of uh, the best Tonga Imo songs, they will not feel out of place. That's just how good uh, these tracks are. Uh, my favorite instrumental is on Mudiwa Wangu, the guitar, the guitar, the guitar, the guitar, the guitar. You know what? I love how Peter... Uh, you know, it incorporated like Jaita Mdarawake to put uh, this room kind of influences uh, on his tracks. And if you listen to the first track, Muyamu Chene, you know what, the chanter uh, part, uh, the chanter part uh, towards the end is just was just a very, very nice touch. And also like uh, on his father's tracks, you could hear a lot of uh, Leonard Dembo's influences uh, throughout uh, this album. You know what, uh, when his father was coming up, a lot of people labeled him a Leonard Dembo copycat, you know what, and he developed his sound a bit more. Uh, then he created his own unique uh, kind of sungura and you know what peter moyo is uh at the moment you know what pushing that sound a bit way forward but you can hear uh, a lot of um attributes you know what all those tracks that you could feel you know this track was inspired by lena dembo if you listen to the track akurera is you can hear that track was taken from uh musharu ziko uh from by lena dembo which is done way way back uh, and they also thought you not know let's make a remix for the track and they inserted uh a remix which features andy murizu and on that track, you could uh, hear one of the things, the complaints that I have uh, against Peter. Which, uh, the part where Peter Moyo sings and the part where and Murizo sings. You can actually hear the differences in how these two artists uh, have managed to master their vocals, their vocal dynamics and range. And I know what, you should definitely further the point that Peter still needs to improve on his vocals. Now, if you go to the last track, uh, titled Murizo Open, featuring Trimo Banda and Ed Moss Banda. You know, this track is definitely... A uh, departure from the whole field that you come to expect uh, from a Dewa album because it follows on this a uh, kind of um, Matthias Mere kind of sound. And I I've listened to this track a couple of times and I don't even know the part where Peter sings. Uh, those are the two Ed Moore and Trimo, are the more uh, visible uh, artists on this track. Now, as a standalone track, uh, this, is a, this, this is quite a good uh, gospel track. But if you put it in the context of the whole album, you know what, it just uh, disrupts uh, the flow because uh, the other tracks before, you know what, you'll be hearing some uh, good sungura uh, guitar work, some sungura arrangements. Then uh, it just changes uh, on the last track and it just goes another direction. In the context of the whole album, you know, it's not really uh, as coercive. And now when you go to the theme, uh, the theme is covered on this album, you know, unlike his father, whereby most of the tracks uh, were about love. On this track, Peter is talking a lot of social, uh, family, and personal issues that a lot of people face in today's world. If you listen to the track like Kurera uh, Isinyore, he's talking about the challenges one faces uh, on raising a child, Kushika, you know, at Akura. Then uh, if you listen to tracks like Babana Mai, where he's urging people, Kuti, uh, whenever you go, because a lot of people move out of, of, of our family homes in search of a better life. So it's just, you know, encouraging people who do not forget about your parents, don't forget about your mother, don't forget about your father, you know what, uh, keep taking care of them, Keep, you know what, just making their life a bit easier. So it's urging people uh, not to be selfish and, you know what, be mindful uh, of their guardians, those people that played the part, you know, in raising them. And then there's Msara Pavana. And on this track, Peter is uh, just, you know, highlighting the plight uh, of orphans, Kuti. In a lot of uh, situations, uh, when the guardian dies, you know, the relatives, those so-called relatives, uh, sometimes they just uh, abandon those kids. They stop caring for them. They stop sending money for them. They stop doing those things that they used to do uh, when their guardians, their parents, are uh, still alive. So it's just, you know, urging people, Kuti, let's 
let's have a sense of community let's say all have love kuti if umwe afirwa you know what just chip in help uh no go and the album only has a uh, one love song uh, which is mdiwa wangu on this track where peter is just uh basically highlighting how good it is to have someone who cares for you someone who's always thinking about you your safety you know what uh, your well-being uh so this is the only love song on the track and the other tracks um we uh peter just highlighting the importance of the holy spirit in one's life and another track is muridzi openyu and basically on this track they just uh giving praise uh, to the almighty the giver of life and yeah uh that's it for this summer review uh for this album now if you want to read the full uh in-depth review head on to my blog proudzimbo.blogspot.com now uh, like i said i enjoyed the instrumentals on this track the instrumentals are uh, arranged uh very well the guitar work is just done very well and the vocals uh peter still needs uh to put a lot of more work uh, on his vocals his vocals are not there yet uh but no, i think if you listen to the track babana my i think that's that's the track that has uh, the best vocals are from peter on this um on this album on that track he did not try to hit the high pitches he sang his uh normal range and the track came out very well and i feel as if in the following projects he must follow what he did on that track uh as he's still working on his high pitches uh, making sure that he does not strain himself and my overrating uh for this album i give this album a c and that's uh mainly because of the poor vocals now uh, for those who have listened to the album you know tell me what you think about the album tell me about your favorite track what you think about peter's vocals what you think about the instrumentals uh, and also don't forget to like the video see you again next time